Hello everybody, this is Wizward 100 you're the viewers and I'm the showcaser, and welcome to another episode of Sunday Showcase, where I just play a game and showcase you the games that I own. And the game that I'm going to be playing today is Lifeless Planet on PC slash Steam. Uh, there were no votes this week on the uh, Sunday Showcase poll, hope you guys will vote next time on a game, but I didn't mind it, mind it this time because I kind of wanted to play some more uh, PC games because... You know, I have a lot more of that than uh, my console games, and uh, a lot of them I haven't gotten around to playing it. So, and Lifeless Planet looked kind of in interesting, so I wanted to play it. Let's get started. Alright, so this is Lifeless Planet. Options. Right invert the controls. Uh, this is one of those games where you had to, like, uh, uh, um, customize the controls uh, in the first part. So let's start this up. Wait, I need to go to the bathroom. No! In space, said controls. That Earth looks so obvious. Outer space now flying higher than ever before. Alone in space. Man, those planets, it, it doesn't look like it's actually in the distance. But not going to be nit nitpicky about that. It's about the idea and not the actual logistics of how it works. So this is supposed to be a survival horror-ish kind of game? I'm not too sure. Well, we're on the planet now. I'm on the landing site. R2-D2? My head's foggy. The sound of my breath pulling in my helmet is hollow. Oh, okay. Because I was gonna say, uh, why am I going on this trip alone? This seems kind of dangerous. So, apparently I, you were with a crew, but they decided to not wake you up and just leave you here. Potentially dying, too. You are low on oxygen. Find an oxygen supply before you pass out. Ah, oh, the fuck! We're not gonna die already. Do I go back to the ship? Uh-oh. Anything on the ship? The fuck? What do I do? Was there a base somewhere? I see something shining. This kind of gives me... It, it reminds me of uh, the landscape kind of... Not the landscape. The, the feel kind of reminds me... Oh, I'm dead. The gameplay kind of reminds me of The Thing on PlayStation. Two. And also on PC, but I was playing the PlayStation 1 first. Not 1, 2. Uh, I never got far into it as a kid because I was kind of terrified, but then realized it's actually not as terrifying as one would believe. In fact, it was pretty generic. Is that what happened? I jump and then, like, I, I, I bust the tube? Well, let's go to the shiny thing before we die. There's supposed to be a bunch of other button controls that I can press, but I don't know. Come on. Am I tired? Can't refill. Estimated eight hours remaining. Oh, is that oh, is that all I had to do? Just touch it? Oxygen supply vehicles. These will be sent to planets three days in advance of landing to provide for long excursion. Okay. Guess we didn't die. Jeez. What a way to start. First time landing and then I die. Well, there goes the, uh, try not to die on your first playthrough achievement. But anyways, yeah, there was this thing where it was like... Beat the game on your first try, on your first playthrough, without dying, and it's like, oh come on, how the hell are you supposed to know know all these death in deaths in advance? That's always good. I would never go on this mission. That looks like uh, this this stone structure looks like an alien craft. So this game is a three D um. Is a 3D platformer like game. Foothills. Oh, oh, I'm, I've entered a new location. It's just kind of. Foothills? It's a hill. Well, foot? Is this where the Foot Clan is? That explains why they're all robots. They don't need to breathe. Ay, Karubba. So, this, uh. I get the impression it's supposed to be like an atmospheric game, which, uh. I can potentially see that. It looks like a game I would enjoy. Finding rocks. Jumping on. Wait, what's that? See something on the jetpack. Jet okay, cool. We got a jetpack. How do I use it? Oh, just press jump again, like a double jump. That's that's helpful, especially in space. In space, no one can hear you scream. So, who's played the the Alien Isolation game? I haven't. Don't got the money for it. I'm probably not gonna predict like uh predict like what the. Hey, that looks like a. It kind of looks like a dog or a pig, Stand, like setting up. I'm probably not going to be able to predict like what how the story goes out, but but what I can probably guess is that I'm probably not going to be too impressed with it because it's one of those. It would be one of those like, 
Well, uh, that's been done, but I didn't see it coming. Hey, isn't that one of the boulders we need to push down? Hey, what's over here? Oh man, so much space to explore. Hmm, I like it. You need to make more games where you can explore a lot. And there's water on this planet, so clearly there's some sort of... Something has to be able to live. But wait, if there's no oxygen, how can you have the hydrogen to the water? I, I, I'm, I'm no scientist. I'm no scientist. There's a doctor, but not a scientist. Okay, I knocked it over. What now? Oh, what, do I have to, like, press the thing? Hmm, that's kind of, uh... Peculiar. Ah! There we go. However, I did see that one little canyon area, so I'm gonna go... Like, that little one hidden area, so I'm gonna go check it out. Been playing a lot of, uh, Shantae's Risky Revenge since, uh... One of my friends, Mini Ninjas, is also doing a playthrough on his... On his channel, but, uh, mine is gonna be... On stream. So if you're interested in seeing me play that, uh, go check that out. Wow, fantastic and rare find of, uh... Magnesius Carbonite. I guess like, uh, I guess in addition to like, uh, audio files, we also do the discovering and piecing things together. Alright. I'm up for that. Why does he always make a giant slam? Isn't Mars supposed to be, uh, lighter than Earth, like, by a little bit? Once again, not a scientist. Almost forgot I had the jet boost pack. Ah. Oh my god, I had this terrible moment in, uh, Shantae. Risky's Revenge, where it's just like, I completely failed to notice this one room that I didn't go to, and I was walking around the entire dungeon and just didn't realize I ha I was missing one room that had the key in it. So it was like my memory was really, really failing on me. Let's take this path. This looks like we'll discover something. I always try to take the path that does not actually lead me to the goal just so I can discover uh, some goodies like that. What is that? This looks like a bunch of crystals. Sulfur. A nice specimen of the ninth common element in the universe. This you know, it's quite large. Yada yada yada. We're just collecting stuff and it doesn't have any th properties like uh, we can combine it or something. Anything up here? I'm the king of the world! Oh wait, I see something light. I see a light in the distance and I see a waterfall right in front of me. Hopefully I don't die from like a high jump or not ridiculous that one death in the beginning where it was just like I there was no way I would have okay I died is there anything at the bottom of that of that waterfall because my gamer senses are tingling no there's a little path but let's check it out anyways no take a nice uh, waterfall shower hey there's stuff in this water are these like alien frogs Hey, where'd he go? Did he dig underground? Oh, they just disappear. They jump on you like Super Mario Brothers. I was gonna say, this kind of feel like, uh, feels like, um, like a scene from, uh, Destiny, or like, you know, like the environment, which, uh, then again, the opening to Destiny was, uh, these guys going around the planet and then finding the stuff, and then that starts up the whole Destiny thing. Hey, is that where, is that how my crew disappeared? They were in Destiny. Those those guys went off to go play Destiny. That that's it. That's what they were doing. Those bastards. They left without me. So now I'm on lifeless planet. Come on, come on. We're in space. All right. Forgot I can fart in space and then just go up. And that was all for nothing. I thought there was a little cave or something. It certainly looked like it to me. There's a shiny object over there. I forgot to check time to make sure. Oh no. There I do have a little timer. I always try to keep track of how long I'm recording for, so when we reach a certain point, uh, I'm gonna stop. I heard a little weird sound going there. What is that? I know it's shiny. Is that a bed? It's a bed. It's a hallucination. Oh my god! Oh, uh, I heard it coming, but... I just had to look away. What did the rocks cause anything? Is it still rolling? Rolling rock. Hmm, nothing. I thought I might bust open a path or something. That'd be a neat thing where it's like, oh my god, we avoided a tr avoided like some sort of danger, but that danger also uh, opened up a new, a whole new world for us. That oh, cutscene. Hey, it's a, it's the title screen. Except we weren't there. Eh, trying to provide some light. So where'd that book go? Oh, I see a little. See a little town. Are we still hallucinating? Cause that bed 
which I wish I was sleeping on, is uh, not what it was. I wonder is this faster than uh, running? Because uh, this guy takes a slow ass time. Oh, it's a town. Hopefully there are no zombies. Hey, light. Well, let's start looking around town. This is almost like a ghost town. Oh, what's this? Auto translated from Russian. In Soviet Russia. Your oxygen levels are nominal. Phenomenal? Well, we can't possibly pop up our pop pop off our helmets like in uh, Prometheus because that would be dumb. Uh, what was that one movie? The Red Planet or Red Life? Where it was like a, th these three guys went to Mars and they, they thought they were going to die of, uh, of oxygen but it turns out that um, this this fungus that Earth sent like actually made oxygen there and they had a and they had a robot that went rogue on them. Didn't finish seeing that movie. Oh, that, that, that thing we turned on was a uh, was an audio track. Not that I listened to it. We later find out that we are actually in Texas or something. Actually, not really. A track. That trackway. Can you specify which one? I'm still looking around town. Er, yes, I made it. Not that it means anything. Well, let's keep moving. Gotta move. Uh, gotta keep moving. I forget that thing that the uh, bunch of. Memers did for Left 4 Dead. It was like something, 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 something. Gotta keep moving. Something, 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 something. Gotta keep moving. Wait, are those just fences or? Hmm. It's like a giant steak. And by steak, I meant the one that you stab with, not the food. Oh, well, I guess we're checking this building out. Let's just stick to the narrative for, for now. Is that a tornado? Oh no! Oh no! It's coming after me! What is this twister? Hey, it stopped. I actually thought this game was going to be one of those... Oh no, now we're going with Dune. Or was it Dune? Which was which movie was it where it had the giant worms that like, uh... Like, dig underground that like, kill you. First half the code for access to Southern Laboratory. Oh, so we gotta find the other half. Where to next? Well, let's go check out that one house that I was thinking of. Why doesn't he like, carry the gas woofen. Even though it would probably be clunky, but still. I saw a house over here. Yeah, right there. But, uh... Hey, a graveyard? Hang on. Grave shape uh, seems amazing. Jeez, I wonder why that's the case. Alright, come on. Come on, move it. Your life is on the line. And I thought I recharged it. Apparently not. I didn't realize eight hours have already passed. It's actually only just 20 minutes. And then we find out that the tank is gone. It's just pumping out air. Isn't that a waste? Hey. Of course. I was like, ah, oh, if only I could move this. Oh, wait. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Oh, pff. oh well. No cable for those guys. Anyways, yeah, second half of the code. Ah, there we go. Any other buildings you'd like to hide from me? Anyways, yeah. I haven't been, uh, consistent with the of the stuff for video game reviews and I apologize for that. I, I do feel like shit for not making any video game reviews and just having like uh, Sunday showcase like just all the time that's the only thing that's uh, showing. But it's just like a uh, oh fuck face furniture hearing in the background but I can't keep using that excuse. Okay I have to eventually do something. So what I'm gonna do is just like on a, on like a, I'm gonna set a date where it's just like no matter what I'm just gonna get some recording done because you know I've already written enough. It's time to actually go in here. Yeah, it's time to actually get some editing and such done. Oh, I thought I was stuck for a moment. Do I have a flashlight? Yep, F button. Uh, I wouldn't happen to be screwed if I didn't get both those codes now, did would I? Or the right bumper, what? Oh, I'm slowing down. I can't jump, I can't, I can only walk. What's up with the bed? Hmm, this is kinda creepy. Uh, creepy in the sense of isolation, but just like, uh, don't want to be here. So dark, so lonely, I die all alone. And it also gives me, uh, reminds me of uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 when you're in the... When you're running away through the, uh, sewer. I think I can jump in there. Alright, what's in here? Hey, a little... Got stuck. Oh, I had to do that. America. Well, actually, it's for some Russian guy. Hey, is that a mannequin? 
No, it's a skeleton. It doesn't matter to bear cameras in the room. If any luck, they won't be able to get in here. Of course, I've always unlocked myself in the room too. I realize I'm near the end. The calls from the room alone. Hmm. Like most of us, we don't want to face death alone. Unfortunately, it ha it must be uh dealt with alone. I thought those were skulls, but apparently not really. I didn't take a closer look at them, so huh, they look like pebbles to me. Not fruity pebbles. Never ate those before. I was always more of a Fruit Loops guy, or uh. Actually, I'm more of a Cinnamon Toast Crunch guy, because it's the taste you can see. I was like, hey, there's that shiny thing, and it's just the light. It's just a light. What's over here? Ooh, dynamite. Now, why couldn't he do this with the gas? It'd be like, you have, like, all this infinite, or almost infinite air. Oh, uh, where do I go? Where do you want me to go, game? Well, presumably. Oh, God, God, run, run, run! Hopefully physics will not kill me. And just because there's a just because I can, I'm gonna go get the other one. Do do do. Oh, that's just a light. I thought it was like another shiny thing. It looks like it's just a light. I can't I can't aim my flashlight up there. Eh, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Let's just proceed. Oh, it kind of looks like that light, only not as bright. Anyway, all right, let's go. How do he lock himself in here if he can blow up the door? You know what? That's, uh, I think that's a pretty good spot to, uh, stop the game. So, with that said, that's Lifeless Planet on, uh, PC slash Steam. If you're interested in playing it, it's, uh, well, it's there for you to play on your PC. It's pretty interesting, um, in, ter in terms of in being interesting, I mean, like, uh, I like the game. It's so far pretty fun exploring. Uh, I wouldn't say it makes my top ten top 20 top anything but like you know it's a pretty i would say check it out it seems like it has an interesting idea going for it and uh, i can't wait to play any, uh, more of it even if it might end up you know with a unoriginal climax or anything but still gonna i'm gonna still be playing it so i hope you guys will vote on the sunday showcase poll on the next system that i'll be playing on or otherwise i'll just keep picking up the Picking out the games that I will be playing, which, uh, that works too, because, um, in a few weeks I'll actually be, uh, gone somewhere to visit some relatives, so I'll actually not be able to record and do stuff for a month and a half. But yeah, uh, this is WizWar100, you're the viewers and I'm the showcaser. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sunday Showcase, see you later, and stay tuned. Bye! Oh, I was hoping the dynamite would actually explode and, like, kill me in the cutscene, but, uh... Uh, nope. Apparently that wasn't it.